uh, Deuteronomy 30 and 15. It's that simple. You have to make a decision. Going to college is not a uh, an excuse. Just because you have freedom, it's not an excuse. I was in college. I graduated from SPI fall 2014. Right? I still have to provide for my family, but most importantly, I gotta keep God's commandments. Right? I have to choose the difference between good and evil. Y'all see that? You do too. Y'all, every last one of us have to make that decision. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 15. Uh -huh. See, I have set before thee this day life and good. Life and good? What was good? Oh, keep it, man. Keep it, God's commandments. Read. And death and evil. How do you get death? By sin. By sin. Exactly. So read it again for the top. <laughs> See, I have set before thee this day. Life and good. Life and good is going to get you to the kingdom of heaven. And then you, what, what else you got? And death and evil. So that's the choice you have today. What, what route are you going to take? Are you going to choose life and good or death and evil? It's up to you to make that choice. We can't make it for you. All we can do is what? Show you the way. Right. And give you some encouragement. Give me that in Sirach 5 and 7. Give you some encouragement so you can make the right decision. All right. My prayer is the same prayer as Paul. I, I wish that all of my people can make it, but I already know what the prophecy says. Only one third of our people will make it. And that's talking about blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, not just us, Judah. I'm talking about all 12 tribes. So that means there's going to be a lot of people that are going to get put to death. When you think about that, God says our nation is as the sand of the sea. You can't number it. But he says only one third will make it. It's up to you. Read what you got. So Rock chapter 5 verse 7. Uh -huh. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. God says make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. Read. And put not off from day to day. Don't say, you know what? I heard what them brothers said. I heard what God said. But it sounds good, but I want to go to this party. I, I want to go to this chick house tonight. Read. For suddenly. For what? For suddenly uh -huh. shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. Uh huh. And in thy security. Thou shalt be destroyed. Thou shalt be destroyed. Security means when you relax, when you close, uh, when you cut off your apartment light in your room and you chilling, sleeping. In your security, that's when you're going to be destroyed, when you least expect it, like in a thief in the night. That's the same way Christ's going to come back. Questions, brother. Questions. What? How do you get the kingdom of heaven, brothers? I want to make sure you understand that. Uh, keeping the commandments and doing the right thing. You say keeping the commandments and doing the right thing, which is keeping God's commandments. What about you, brother? Oh, following the laws. Mm hmm. And, yeah, same thing. Following the laws and keeping to the commandments. Exactly. What about you? Yeah. Keeping his commandments and knowing what sin is and not to do it. All right. You know what? That's true. You got to know what it is. You got to know what it is. And how do you learn that? Give me Acts 8, and then I'm going to put you to the test real quick. All right. I'm going to see if you are talker or a doer. All right, it's going to get real for you in a matter of two minutes. Watch. And Philip ran thither to him uh -huh. and heard him read the prophet Isaiah. So a brother was reading the prophet Isaiah, which is Esaias in the Greek. It's changed. He was reading the prophet Isaiah and he was stumbling between it, right? Read. And said, understandest thou what thou readest? Philip, Philip came to this man. He said, do you understand what you're reading? You know. And he said, how can I? So he said, uh, how could I read? Except. Some man should guide me. Except some man should guide you. Like we're doing to y'all right now. Y'all didn't know what sin was, but what? We had, the most high had to reveal it through us. Somebody has to teach you. Just like somebody had to teach me. Right. Teach this brother. So on and so on. Somebody has to teach you, brothers. And the only way to get taught, you have to what? First, okay, I am an Israelite. I have to repent of my wickedness. I need to come. I need to congregate. Congregate, excuse me. I need to be amongst the brothers and the sisters. So I can what? I can learn. Because I don't want those missiles, right? Right. It's that simple. I don't want to be judged according to my wickedness. I want to be judged according to my righteousness. All right? Now, for this, brother, give me 1 Corinthians 11. So, you said the way we get the kingdom is keeping God's commandments. So, let's see if you're going to do it. Let's see. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 3. Hold up. Give me 1 Corinthians 14, 37. Because this is Paul. This is Paul, because a lot of people like to be contentious and say, that's not God's laws. Let's find out. 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 37. Uh -huh. If any man think himself to be a prophet uh -huh. or spiritual. Do any of you think yourself to be spiritual? 
spiritual, like being spiritual, meaning you know there's a greater being. You, yeah, read it again from the top. If any man think himself to be a prophet uh -huh. or spiritual, read. let him acknowledge that these things I write unto you. So Paul's writing this. He said, let that spiritual man acknowledge that the things that Paul writes unto us, read, are the commandments of the Lord. Are the commandments of God or the Lord. So Paul's going to say something right here. Now the spotlight is on my brother. All right. Now we're going to see if you really want the kingdom of God. All right. You ready for it? Let's go. First Corinthians chapter 11 verse 3. Uh -huh. But I will have ye know that the head of every man is Christ. The head of every man is Christ. Our head is who? Christ. Read. And the head of the woman is the man. So that means we got a big responsibility. We can't be dogging our sisters out. We can't be mistreating them because we're their head. They look to us for comfort and to learn from us. Read. And the head of Christ is God. So we have the hierarchy. We have God, Christ, man, woman. Read. Every man praying or prophesying. Having his head covered. So it says every man praying or prophesying, having his what? Having his head covered. Read. Dishonoreth his head. Read. But every woman that prayeth or prophesieth with her head uncovered, dishonoreth her head. So, give us a sense. Break down that scripture. What is that saying? Uh, on one part, it says something about a man covering his head while he's praying, but a woman doing the opposite is giving the same result. I didn't even Okay, let's read it again for him. First Corinthians chapter 11 verse 3. But I will have ye know that the head of every man is Christ, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Christ is God. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. What does that mean? Well, I got, I got the first part. It, it was God, Christ, man, woman. Is, is that correct? Yes. Yes. The yes. second part about the, if a man's head is covered, he dishonors something. Yeah. Read it again for me. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. Yeah. But, yeah. All right. We appreciate you. All right, brother. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Officer, come back up. Come back up, brother. Explain this. I, before, I'm going to have a teacher, but explain it. I'm not sure if I can. You can. Read it again. Every man praying away, or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. Stop. So give him the spirit of prophecy in Revelations 19. This is Revelations chapter 19 and verse <laughs> 10. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant, and, and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Jesus, worship God. For the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. For the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. So when we read these scriptures, that's the spirit of prophecy. All right, now go back and read 1 Corinthians for the brother. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 3 mm -hmm. But I will have ye know that the head of the man is Christ and the head of the woman is the man and the head of Christ is God Every man praying or prophesying having his head covered dishonoreth his head So what is prophesying? What does that mean again? Because we just went to it. Mm -hmm. What does it mean? Prophesying? Prophesying uh, Connecting with Jesus? Give him the bottom part of it. All right. For the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. So what is prophecy? Testimony of Jesus. Right. So go back. Get to the point. First, first Corinthians chapter 11 verse 4. Every man praying or prophesying having his head covered dishonoreth his head. All right. Explain it. His head covered. I'm not sure what that means, but it's... It, it, it. His head covered. What do you have on your head? Hat. Is that covering your head? Yeah, yeah, it's kind of cold. Right, read it again. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonored his head. So, 
what's going on right here. Explain it. I know you know. I just want you to say it. Is, is, it, like, is it in a literal sense or like a literal? Literal. So if you're wearing a hat, you can't really be um, spiritually connected. Read it again. Read it again. Watch it. Watch it. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonored his head. Who was your head again? Uh, right above me is, is Christ. Christ. Yeah. So whenever this Bible come out and you got that covering over your head, you're dishonoring who? Christ. Right. So, and in order to repent, because you said you got to keep God's commandments, right? Mm -hmm. What should you do? Take off the hat, literally. You tell me. That's what the scripture just said. That's yeah. right. Is, is that literally what he's saying? That's literally what he's saying. Well, that's the case. I can just take it All off. Praise All, praise. All praise. All praise. All praise. Shalom, Israel. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.